Right, now I do believe that that Robo Wood could be squeezed, could be put into a squeezer to extract more rubber. But let me just check. Rubber wood one factory reloaded. Rubber boots protection three durability sixty four sixty four. Flux scrubber. Right, yeah, because rubber is in scrubber. Of course. Alright. It's in the assembly table. So rubber wood can be used as fuel, of course. You could put redstone rubber wood into the redstone furnace to get charcoal. But it requires redstone flux. Whereas I've got a co cover. So Okay. Squeezer. It's near about that. Squeegee. Industrial squeezer. Brew as a grotesque. Just look for more cotton seeds. Right, that's Belladonna. Wait, was that? No, yeah, water artichoke. Now, water artichoke seeds are rather unique because you have to plant them on water. That's more mandrake seeds. Standard seeds. Okay. Carrot seeds. How's this stuff going? So we've got 8,000 units of created oil in there. Yeah, let's 
see, I put more of this stuff away. Don't believe we have any water at the choke seeds in there. Just real hemp, carrot seeds. Pineapple. See here, any other food that we need? World domination with open blocks. Yes, yes. So, once you get that. stuff in the cook oven ready for use and we've got 64 torches once all that wood is turned into charcoal in the cook oven we shall return to the caves which will probably be in the next episode it could be only need six more torches and we'll be ready to go. Hey, what? Uh. Volume two. Standard book. Okay, we've got the whole assortment. Yeah. Volume two and mighty smelting. Now we will be keeping that sound around just in case we need to descend some rather tricky heights inside the cave system because sand is affected by gravity and so it is therefore useful for making stairs of a sort or at least quick towers underneath your very feet and if you need to get down just destroy all the blocks again there. Put you feathers away from the upper wood. Don't need that bark right now. Can I harvest a bit more of that redwood? No, no, no. We want to chop down some more rubber trees. Yes. Come on. Yeah, I was looking for cotton seeds. That's it. I suppose it is coming, isn't it? No darkness. It's also the name of the song that is playing right now. It also seems that the end of this episode is coming rather soon. If this night keeps up, Need more standard seeds. Barley seeds, similar to wheat. Mm. 
More belly donut, looks like. Yes. Grass garden. Now what? Corn. More water out of check. Looks like I'll be going to my base again. Perhaps read some more out of that this book that I've got here. Oh come on. Should've closed the door there. Alright, so more about my desmelting. Okay, so alloys are made when two or more metals are mixed in precise proportions. Currently known alloys are bronze made from three parts copper and one part tin, aluminum brass made from three parts aluminum and one part copper, Manulin, made from two parts cobalt and two parts ardite. Alamite, made from five parts aluminum, two parts iron, and two parts obsidian. And pig iron, made from one part iron, one part blood, and one part emerald. There exist a few liquids that are gained through strange means. Currently known liquids are blood, damaging entities in the smeltery. Well, it's obtained by damaging entities in the smeltery. Liquid fried emeralds, melting down emeralds of all villagers. That might be fun to try it sometime. Somehow lure a villager into your smeltery. Because those little fellows are right backs. No. They're only useful for trading, nothing else. They're downright idiotic. Then there's slime, found on slime islands, like the ones you've seen in the sky. It functions as a spawner. Hmm. Ender, either melting down ender piles or endermen. Aha. Uh -huh. Blank casts are made by pouring aluminum, brass, or gold into an empty casting table. These are used in crafting recipes and can be remelted. Part casts must be created by pouring metal around existing parts, like a pickaxe head. So, you make the pickaxe head, plop it down onto the casting table, must have the part in hand, and then right click the casting table with it, and then pour the metal around the part. If there is any metal in this smeltery, of course. So, forming a cast, yeah, just like so. Then you've got the same recipe for grout, clay, gravel, and sand. I will be, yes, I will need to dig up quite a bit of gravel here. And sealed brick. Sealed bricks. Uh, smelty controller. Just a chest pattern, except with sealed bricks. Smeltery drain, like so. See the tank. See the glass. So yes, we will be needing a lot of sand here. See the window. See the faucet. Casting channel. I suppose that's if you want to place the casting table farther away from the faucet. 
and casting table, which you'll see at Brick's Fair. Casting basin, so. Brownstone. Ingredients liquid tin and gravel. Suppose if you put the gravel in the casting basin and then pour the grid tin over it, looks like. Clear glass. Just put molten glass into the basin and see it stone. And stone. Oh! In resonant and uh, in obsidian. Wait a minute. Resonant and. Uh, Right. Suppose that's also the same thing as resident, resonant, and does it? Okay. Stone glue ball. Eat glue, of course. And that is it. Now I want that. Can mighty smelting be turned into anything else? Tinker's weaponry! Aha! This must be where the crossbows are listed. Tinker's weaponry brings the hat whole new places by Sheriff Bo Bonana. Ah, Bonana! Instead of Banana Bonana, because, well, he has a bow. Haha. Alright. Why walk up to hit stuff when you can do that while standing here? While standing here! A tinker knows how to create varied ranged weapons. There are two big categories. Certain weapons and weapons that shoot projectiles. Those types utilize an ammo system. Instead of having several items, these ranged weapons consist of one item that contains many of it. Why carry around two stacks of arrow when you can have 200 in one stack? These ammo items don't have a durability, but you use up their ammo for each projectile thrown or shot. Throwing weapons, throwing knife, shuriken, and javelin. Projectile weapons, short bow, long bow, and the crossbow. I knew it! Then, projectiles, arrows, and bolts. The bolts are used for the crossbow, of course. Throwing weapons, throwing knives. These knives are crafted from a knife blade and a handle. Hold the right click to take aim, and release it to throw a knife. Throwing knives stack up to a moderate amount, and they deal moderate damage. Shuriken. Small, de delicate projectiles thrown put together from four parts that are thrown from the wrist. Because of this, you don't need to take aim and can throw them directly. Since they're so small, you can carry many of them, however, they don't deal much damage. Javelin. This is a hybrid between a melee and a ranged weapon consisting of an arrowhead on two tough tool rods. It deals moderate damage as a melee weapon, but to unleash its true potential, you have to throw it at your enemy. The throwing has a small wind-up. Because of their size, you can only carry a few, but they pack a punch. Projectile weapons. Short bow. Put together from two bow limbs and a bowstring, this weapon is a fast and handy bow. Keep in mind that inflexible materials like stone can hardly be drawn back and can't accelerate projectiles well. Organic materials are favored for quick bows, while metals require lots of strength to draw back, but provide more power. The bow requires arrows as ammo, of course. Offensive modifiers on bows do not count for arrows. The only modifiers affecting its ranged performance are redstone and lapis. Longbow, the big brother. This bow is much bigger, requiring more time to pull it back, but boy oh boy do those arrows move fast. Because of this, the longbow performs slightly better against armor targets. Furthermore, this makes the longbow less accurate with very light arrows. The longbow is, con is constructed from two bow limbs, a bowstring, and a large plate. Crossbow, those pesky metals are such a pain to pull back. Luckily, a tinkerer knows how to help himself. The crossbow allows you to preload it with a bolt and have it ready instantly to fire. Since this allows for much more power, it can shoot heavier projectiles, resulting in more damage and armor penetration. To load the crossbow, simply right-click and 
to wait until the animation is done. The loading process can be stopped by pressing right click while sneaking. The crossbow can be unloaded in the same way. Projectiles. For these projectiles goes, the heavier the projectile, the more damage car carries the more damage it carries through the armor. And look! You hear that? Zombies are dying out there. There's Oh, the trash material stick. We'll get to that later. So, let us collect some mob drops. Aha! Uh -huh. There we are. You've got your first raspberry there. Alright, time to put more stuff away. And I think... a bunch of horses out there. Yes, let us put some more stuff away. Yeah, no. More carrot seeds. Corn. Barley seeds, potato seeds. So we've got three uh, sets of cotton seeds. We want to plant them later on. What the other chick? Yeah, what? Let's see if we can. Yeah, no. There's a spider. Why are they there? There we go. There, Mr. Zombie. Some more experience from me. Lovely. All right, let's get this bunch of raspberries into our taskbar here. See if we can kill anything else here. More spiders would be nice. Why hello there, zombie villager? Oh, thank you. It appears there's a lightning strike right there. Want to gather up some more raspberries? Yeah. 
Oh my, you are looking absolutely lovely today, aren't you? Excellent. Oh, you tried to shoot me? Can't get deer while I'm in the water. There we go. And more experience for the bucket. Brilliant. Oh, another spider. Brilliant! Some more string for me! And... Some more resin. I did hike us that. And more raspberries, always good. I oh, a small leather for me. Hello! I think... No! No! Just one bit of leather! And there's a whole bunch of blackberries, huh? you haven't noticed already. I am a particular fan of this these berry bushes. Again. Excellent. More leather. 
got some horses there. I don't think I'll be riding any. So, I'll come back for you fellas later. I need more leather. More leather is always good. Well, I should be getting started on some dinner for my real life self soon. And as I was saying that, I started getting hunger pangs. So, I suppose I shall leave us all to it for now. I do hope you enjoyed this other short video. Well, I think perhaps it was about the same length as my first two episodes here. But in any case, farewell, folks.